animal, then you definitely have to be born within animals. Nobody can change it. When you go to this mirror and see that, oh, I maintain the great quality uh, uh, of a human being, uh, then you definitely know that you can be born within humans again. No doubt. If you realize that my quality is above human status and it is just like a deity who maintains his great uh, mental status in the heaven. Uh, if yours is like that, then you can be born in heaven. There is no doubt. Nobody can change it. Nobody can change it. Even any God, any super mighty God, any Brahma, any Ghost, any Satan, or whatever. Nobody can change it. It is very fair. Do you think that it is unfair? I don't think so. Yes. It can happen if we die in just a misfit. But till the time we die, we can change. Sure. Sure. In good or bad. Sure. Mm. Yeah. When you know that still your real figure is like an animal, then you should start to change it. You should start to change it. So you have to remove the teeth which have come from out from your house. You have to remove them. And you have to cut your nails. Any more nails? <laughs> and you have to remove your animal skin. Mm. All the animal parts you have to remove. And you have to repair it. You have to redecorate it. Right? You have to recondition it. Until it becomes to the status of human beings. It cannot be done physically. It has to be done mentally. So, to remove your animal parts means to remove your qualities of animals. Getting angry, killing others, harming others, cheating others, all these things. These are not human qualities. These are not human qualities. These are the qualities of animals. So if we maintain the qualities of animals, what happens to us? We cannot bear more this human figure. This is only <coughs> uh, like a cloth. This, this, this our body, this our form is only like a cloth. So this cloth, we have to, we have to remove this cloth someday. We have to remove this cloth someday. We have to remove this cloth and where which cloth is to be belonged by us. For example, within the party, you wear a certain cloth hmm, in the party. But you do not wear that same cloth when you are at home. If you do so, people will look at you and think you are mad. Hmm? He or she had worn the cloth uh, that should be worn in a party. When you go to your office, you use another cloth. Hmm? And you wear a certain type of shoes. And you wear a tie or bow or whatever other thing. Hmm? 
but you do not wear a tie when you are in your house. You just remove it. And and you wear a suitable and <coughs> easy uh, clothes uh, when you are at home. Just like that, this figure is only like a cloth. So we have we will have to remove them and we will have to wear a suitable cloth for us. So we remove this figure of human being, this, this man or woman, this figure we remove and we have to wear. If our real status is an animal status, we have to wear the suit of animals, the clothes of animals. Otherwise we have to wear the clothes of deities or to wear the clothes of serpents or fish or whatever, according to our real status of mind. Uh, that is how even males become females in next life and females become males in next life. When they maintain a certain status of their mind as a man, if she is a woman, then next life she will be born as a man. If a man maintains a female quality in his mind, then he will be born as a female. But this is not definite, right? Uh, sometimes it can happen, sometimes it can never happen. But in our Dhamma, yeah, you have a question, please. Sometimes some people born with the both sex or it was no sex also with the both? Yeah. What's happened? Please repeat your question. Why, why it happens like this? It happens like this because of many reasons. We cannot say because of this reason only this person has no identity. But it happens because of uh, the bad deeds done by them. In our Dharma it is said that such incidents happen to people specially because of the bad activities uh, regarding sexuality. So if somebody uh, does sexual misconduct then th this type of incident happens. Males become females, females become males, sometimes they do not have an identity. So nobody does it, nobody does it, but it happens because of the karmas that they accumulate. Uh, therefore, uh, the sexual misconduct is called as a very bad karma, a grave karma in our life. But one thing I have to say you, it depends <coughs> sometimes on the uh, rituals and on the um, uh, beliefs of the society. For example, in our Eastern society, the rituals and beliefs regarding sexuality is different than those in the Western culture. It is more dif different in 